All right, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Wintermore Tactics Club. It's, as far as I can tell, I think it's a game about LARPing or d and I don't know what era it's set in. It looks not modern, but who, kno who knows? I don't know. Let's just dive in and we'll find out. In the history of wars, the most important conflict of all often goes unmentioned. Perhaps it's because it took place entirely within Wintermore Academy, a small northeastern boarding school. Perhaps it's because it happened in 1981, when there was no internet. Or perhaps any tale with the fate of the very world at stake is destined to fade into myth and legend. We can't know for sure. Wait, so Psychic Detectives Knitting Club? The League of Extraordinary Temperance? The Society <laughs> for the Preservation of Hoop and Stick. Model UN. Bodybuilders Anonymous. What? Young Monarchists. The Reckless Sun Baking Club. <laughs> Sunday Funnies Club. Which of these would what? you be... Which of these clubs would you join? Okay, uh, let me take a look at them. Because I am firmly in the clutches of reckless baking. I could only imagine that the Sunny Fundy, the Sunday Funnies Club is just people read the Sunday morning paper and discuss all of the comics in there. That wouldn't be bad. Definitely not Bodybuilders Anonymous for me. Hoop and Stick? Eh. Uh, wait, future veterans of foreign wars? Wait, so are they pretending that they're going to be future <laughs> veterans? <laughs> what the heck is that? Yeah, I, yeah, so... Oh, right in the middle. I was looking middle, all um, around and I missed it entirely. Yeah, so essentially That's they're, you. Saying, they're saying that they're going to be going in there. I mean, no, 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 no. You are 100% a future veteran of no, a foreign No, war. I'm not. No, I would probably be... Wait, the League of Extraordinary Temperance? I guess I was thinking of like a future futuristic I mean, I, war I suppose I can else. be tempered. No, I, I think I like something that's creative. So, knitting? Like, I, I would love to learn how... Well, actually, I prefer to learn how to crochet, but knitting, uh, maybe. Uh, I mean, I had taken some fencing classes, but I don't know if I, I'd be too competitive. I, I don't know how I'd handle uh, the rigors of going eh. through. Okay, fine. You'd be in Psychic Detectives. Psychic Detectives? Why not? Let's get going. Uh, but I know the War of Clubs really did happen because I was there. Wintermore student clubs turned against one another and began to vanish from the earth. A great darkness consumed the clubs, growing in power until it threatened to plunge the human realm into chaos. And that's what would have happened if not for one hero. This is her tale, a tale of how a group of friends saved the world from the War of the Clubs. So it's 2D animated. Oh, nice. So, Alicia. Dang it, why does this always happen? Tactics Club is in five minutes. I know I left my dice around here somewhere. Uh, I should really pay more attention to where I leave my stuff. Uh, rejection letter from our school's journal. They said my story didn't fit the theme of the nostalgia of winter. I guess sometimes you really need to spell out the subtext of dragon werewolves. <laughs> oh. Dragon werewolves? Uh. Wait, wait, so do the dragons become were dragons? I I'd imagine it looks something like a Zenogre from Monster Hunter. <laughs> which is like a kind of scaly Uber giant wolf. Death Lords. So wait. This looks like a full-on boarding school, then. Yeah, she... it did say it was a boarding school. Yeah, so this is her dorm room, I suppose. At least she has a room to herself. Bed, nightstand, desk. What's over on the right? Uh, they look like car. They look like cards. Yeah, maybe we'll take a look. My dice aren't here, though. Here's my bed where I do all sorts of scandalous things like reading after curfew. Uh, my dice aren't here, though. 
it's a super hard to get fanzine specializing in fan fiction where everyone works at a coffee shop and nothing bad happens to any of the characters. Oh, here's my dice. Finally, how did they even get here? Man, I can't believe classes are starting again already. At least I have Tactics Club. Today is a big moment for our campaign. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. I should hurry if I'm going to get in there in time. Let's look. Oh, hey, my puzzle cube. I learned the trick to solving these from a book, so now the magic is kind of gone from it. They let me have my own hot plate because I'm just that responsible. I mostly use it to brew tea. <gasps> She's my kind of girl. I love tea. Yes, always tea. Candace. <laughs> oh, hey, Alicia. You off to club? I'm so jealous. I've been thinking about starting a dog lovers club on campus. I can I can tell from the, the headband. Get out. <laughs> also, hey, there's a little board at the bottom or edge of the, right there, right there, yes. It's a notice board. The girls on this floor mostly use it to leave notes, but sometimes people put odd jobs on here. Uh, let's go to the end and see what else is up. Oh, so that's her character. Mm hmm. Anjaya or Anya? Mm, no, I think it would still have the J. Oh, classrooms, library, stadium, administration building, the quad. Huh. Looks nicely illustrated. Isabella. Hey, Alicia, on the way to the club meeting? How goes the club life? What's up with this raven? Oh. The Wintermore Raven, our school mascot. I hope they don't think that painting a suit on it makes it look any less ominous. Wait, what? Doesn't look make it look ominous? Or, sorry, did I accidentally misread that? <laughs> uh, let's go back. Makes it look less ob. Oh, I don't think painting it with that looks less ominous. Interesting. Okay. Well, of course not. I mean, Raven mascot coupled with a suit. Nope. Wait, so all those doors are locked? Yeah. Uh, That's the only one we're going into. Must go in there. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm... Late? Where is everybody? Jacob, I would expect to be late, but Colin is usually more responsible than this. Maybe I should go find them. Hmm. Then again, this might be the perfect time to get a little curses and catacombs practice in. Yeah, it never hurts to have a little extra practice. Okay. I set up some dorkling enemies, like it suggests in the Catacomb Master's Guide. I'll start with my own character, the brave maid, Anjaya. She can sp cast Spark, so I'll put her near those darklings that are grouped together. So, are these darklings? They look like fuzzy kobolds, in a way. Let's put Jacob's character, Rogi. Wait, is it Rogi or Rogai? Probably Rogi. Probably Rogi. Yeah. Is he, I bet he's just a rogue, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, actually, she just says it. Let's put Jacob's character, Rogi, over here. He's a rogue, obviously. He can move fastest. Like all good rogues in D&D, &D, no personality, just there to stab things. Shadow shove? Let's push him back. Yeah. And, hmm. Colin looks to, uh, likes to fight head on with his armored paladin, Eowald. Wait, Eodwald? Is that how you pronounce yeah. it? Eodwald. So, he'd be out in the open.
Okay, that's all we can do this turn. Time to let the Darklings attack. I like the music. The hand-drawn art is nice. I... There's something almost too close to home about this being a, a specific school with kids playing D&D. &D. And I think the specific element of that is, I want to play D&D. &D. <laughs> yep. But as with anything, it's just difficult to get a consistent group together. Yep. Without scheduling conflicts or life. No, that's it. You want to play D&D, &D, but you don't want to get grave and banned. I mean, that's a really unfortunate way of putting it, but yeah. Here's the question. If I push it through an ally, what happens? Good. No friendly fire. But it is... Oh, I guess I could have done that maybe better. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, Chris? I'm actually surprised. I've been talking with some of my friends, and since we had played D&D &D all those years ago, they had actually gone out of their way to join other friends' groups, and one of my friends is even part of one of those adventures leagues that you can organize yeah. at the game stores and such. Yeah, and so, like, that wouldn't be too hard. The main issue is just, like, I record D&D. &D. Yeah, you want to make all the art and assets and stuff for it and Which is... have as a streamable thing. I think I'm getting better. That's probably enough practice for now. I'm starting to worry about Colin and Jacob. They really should have been here by now. I should probably see if I can find them. Let's see, Good Wander, we've watched your YouTube content at a ton. Love what you're doing? Have a great stream. Yeah! More practice, play curses and catacombs. Oh, interesting. Uh... Oh, campaign levels, required players... Yeah, so... Medals are... So we can replay levels whenever we want. Now, what's the name of the game again? Some curses, curses and catacombs. And catacombs. It's D&D, &D, but yeah. not. Uh -huh. Which is super... Super neat. Oh, look at this computer. Mm-hmm. Note, attention students. The classroom computer is for educational purposes only. Please refrain from using it for stock exchange. Actually, can you look at that? It looks like it's a map of the world. Oh, tips and tricks, one of two. But yeah, it, it looks like this is Earth. Yep. Okay. I always like these games where it's not set on Earth. But it's kind of like a weird modern fantasy. Some guy tried to invite me to the Martial Artisans Club the other day. But I don't want to accidentally hurt an amateur, you know? But yeah, from my perspective, most of my D&D &D campaigns I want to record. Uh, and that sort of thing is kind of difficult. Um, okay, so we can get Colin or... Gosh, I forget Jacob. the names. Jacob. Let's go for him first. Library might be a fun place to look. Uh-oh, bullies. And look, one of them has the classic pompadour hair. What's this thing anyway? Some kind of instruction manual for being a nerd? That's my catacomb master manual. I doubt it would appeal to someone of your intellectual prowess. Dude, I think he just called you some kind of lady boat. I have my manual back, please. I'm late for tactics club. Dang, he's right, Skip. We're gonna be late for practice. You're lucky this time, nerd. <laughs> Talk to everyone but your friend. No one believes me about my investment advice because I'm just a kid. He's the one that's using the stock machine. Well... He's the one brokering on the stock exchange with the computer. <laughs> statutes governing disputes in... Oh, wait. Statutes. Governing disputes involving property delineation of grazing rights? Oh. 
This is section 7.10, True Crime. You can't do it. Nine excruciating steps to worsen your life? <laughs> oh, this is section 7.11, Reverse Psychology. Was I a nut, Dad? Tuna I saw. Or wait, was that, was I a nut? Oh, it's, it's back and forth, the same thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is section 7.12, palindromes. Some classics here, War and Peace, Dracula, Moby Dick. Oh, this is section 7.13, events that didn't actually happen. Shh, you'll have to be quiet in the library. Don't disturb the books. Don't disturb the books. You die if you count to 100? Oh, this is section 8.5, Number Theory. Hamlet, the dog who denounced the gold standard, and Uncommon Courage, the life of R.B. Barnmouth, founder of Gebsa? What do these even have in common? This section is labeled section 8.6, books that are included in this classification. How is that helpful? Oh, the possibilities. Oh. This is section 8.7, cat jokes. Ah. Oh, this is section 9.5, other combinations of letters. E. Quentin Shen's practical guide to debunking deities. Oh, this is section 9.4, mythology. Scrangablang. Toodle bloodle bloop. Oh, this is section 9.3. Noises. What is this library? What is it, Wander? This is the sign of no budget, piss poor education, and terrible mismanagement. Jeez, not again. You okay? I got worried when you didn't come to club. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I won't let those morons get to me. I'm kind of impressed that you kept your cool. If that was me, I might have freaked out. Oh, I, I want to start screaming, but I try to try to think of it like curses and catacombs. They'll study hard and be successful, which is like gaining experience and growing stronger. They'll just stay the same generic low-level monsters, and we'll be able to beat them with a the morning star. Uh, metaphorically. Speaking of low-level monsters... Right! Today's the big showdown against Count Mel... Giferous. Sorry, leader should never be late. Let's go. Character unlocked. Edward. Edward. Nope. So they have what? Armor, magic armor, physical attack, magical attack? I think so. Oh, oh he's he? up to. He's being a vandal. Statue placard. Uh, John Gentleroy Ma uh, Wintermore founded Wintermore Academy in 1901, shortly before his mysterious disappearance and presumed death by wolves. Well then. There. It's really cold out here, but I can't rest until I find that butterfly. Well. But butterfly is out in the cold? Here. What? Ah. How is that even possible? Finally, there you are. What are you up to? Oh. Really, Jacob? Again? Oh, hey. Am I late for cl club again? Sorry, I just got some serious writer's block going on here. Writer's block? Or what to write on the wall? Hey, you know a thing or two about writer's block. You want to write the last word in the sentence for me? It needs to be something that really sells our con contempt. Wintermore's fascist authority, while at the same time not acknowledging that authority. Uh. Well, you can suggest a word, or you can say, I'd better not. Because it's not fascist. It's not. I mean, I don't know if it's lame. I don't know if it's unfair. I mean, then again. We're supposed to try to put ourselves in her shoes. I personally would not condone the def, you know, the 
what's the proper word for it? It's not defamation. The desecration mm -hmm. of of the walls. What are you thinking? Nap time. Nap time? Well, I say, eh, no to graffiti. It's not good. Thanks, but I'd rather not get suspended. Eh, your laws. I'll think of something later. Do you think you could take a break from fighting the man for a second and come fight some dorklings and ogres instead? Heck yeah. This is the week we finally fight that evil guy, right? He's pretty fascist, right? Maybe I can think of a good line while we're playing. Character unlocked. Yeah, so he doesn't really have any armor or... Oh, so it's movement. Yeah. It's not... Ma okay, I see. It's not magic. I really like the music in the background. Mm hmm That's pretty good stuff. Oh, good you're here. Sorry we were late. Let's get back to our adventure. Amulet acquisition. Ooh, are those higher level darklings too? Yep. Okay, in any case, let's okay. see his... For the last few sessions, you've been pursuing the evil Count... Malgiferous, who stole Anjaya's magical heirloom amulet. When we left off, you'd finally caught up to the thieves. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. The wind blows through the trees. There's something eerie about the field where your foes have stopped. As you peer warily about you, it dawns on you why you find it so disturbing. This place looks to be an ancient battlefield with cracked armor and abandoned weapons strewn amidst the grass. An enterprising crow picks at an old skeleton buried in the weeds, gives a gruff caw, and flies off as you disturbed its repast. Ah! You're not sure why the Count and his Dorkling guards have stopped here, but they seem ready to fight. What will you do? I say... The Amulet of Amara is the guiding star of Twilight. Heed its light, and it shall guide you back to the path of righteousness. The Darklings don't speak human kin. Oh, oh, uh, then I'll... Try to communicate with Mime, draw Sigil of Mara, and the Sigil of their god together, or just fight them. Wait, I like the idea of... Wait. Probably... The second, just because I don't know if that's to say Un that. Unfortunately for today, your friendly neighborhood wanderbot has been replaced by a mime. But think about it. If you use the sigil, I mean, they could misconstrue it Shell. as Shell. her god Shell. destroying me their being god. a mime is a running joke for almost all of today. Let me have some catharsis. Oh. I know. But mime. gesture my meaning at them? Uh, the Dorklings only speak Dorkish and Undercommon. The language list doesn't include mine. Enraged by your confusing gestures, the Dorklings attack. No matter what, we get attacked. Yeah, I know. But still. Move this over to this one. Hold Y. Dorkling Knights attack the closest character or whoever attacked them this turn. those bushes. That Dorkling Knight's armor doesn't protect it from my magical attacks, right? Right. It's definitely a tactical move for you to fry them. So are they actually called Dorklings as opposed to Darklings? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Now does... No. Rogi deals reduced damage to enemies with physical armor. You should let Anjaya handle these knights. Look, I'm just here to kick some Dorklings. You're the expert on what happens when I do. 
Well, that means that he would be good against the unarmored ones, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to kill this entire side, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What is there? Well, I don't think he's actually going to be able to... Interesting. So you can see who they're going for. Interesting. So you can actually abuse who they hit, potentially. He should be able to move the farthest. Yeah. And attack. I just... I'm actually finding it really difficult to, uh... To use the controller controls on this one. Like, it's... It's just a little funky. Mainly because it's, uh... It, the whole grid has been turned 90 degrees. Uh, mm -hmm. Um... So, when you're pressing up, you're not really pressing up. Yeah. Kind of going to the right instead. Well, it's like it kind of works based on card cardinal directions. Like, so if, if I press right, it actually does shoot to the right. The problem is sometimes it goes up and down weirdly. I'm gonna turn the sound effects up by a smidge. What is this resolution? What? I was wondering about that. Wait, so it was slightly less than 1080? Was yeah, that's 10, why we had... It was like something 7? Yeah, yeah 1017. What? I was wondering about that. I was like, what is going on? I've been having that happen a lot recently. It m must be the fact uh, that I have my Cintiq plugged in and the TV. Like, I've got four displays. Ah. Which is just... It's sometimes confusing to new indie games, and I don't... I don't know why. Oh, well, it's fixed now. Ooh, nice. Stupendous. You got an S. You've taken out all the guards, leaving just the Count holding the amulet. Just when it seems like you've won, suddenly... Attention all student clubs. Uh. Oh, what now? Please report to the auditorium for an important announcement. Attendance is mandatory for all club members. Aw, man. It was just getting good, too. Yeah, I guess I'll go to the auditorium soon. I'll see you at the auditorium. Then we can get back to our campaign. Well then, so I wonder if this is going to address the war. The auditorium, I think, is a good Oh, yes, we would like all of you in these clubs to fight to the death. <laughs> we have too many people at Wintermore uh, Academy, and instead of sending you home, like good administrators would, instead we've decided a bloodbath is in order. <laughs> good luck, and farewell. Oh, hey, Alicia, fancy seeing you here. I mean, obviously, we both go to the same school, and, uh, oh, oh, I can feel the cooties. It's a notice board. The teachers leave notes here. Nope, it's locked. Oh, we're going in here. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? who's that guy? We had, uh. There's someone... Wearing what looks to be just a bunch of stitched leather. Yep. There's a punk rocker on the right. I don't know what that guy is. Is he dressing up like an alien? What the heck is he dressed up as? He looks like he's supposed to be some kind of emergency worker. But it looks like a spacesuit. See how there's the the weird patch or emblem that looks like it's a wavelength on the side? Well, yeah. And a pyramid head. I. I mm -hmm. Maybe maybe he's just big on the. Uh, experimental EDM scene. There's someone that's definitely a horseback rider on the left. Yeah. Okay. Why do we need to be here? Did, did someone do something wrong? Did, did we do something wrong? <laughs> School being raided by goblins. Probably not about us. 
Uh, probably the devil stuff is definitely a reference to D and D to Dungeons and Dragons. And I mean, I remember my mom saying that when she heard about Dungeons and Dragons when she went to college. That was back in the seventies, right? Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, they're saying it's the work of the devil. You know. It's just probably because of the witchcraft, the quote-unquote magic that you're using in the game, right? Yep. That, and I suppose the common enemy would be demons. Well, I the whole devil-satanist thing was all the result of kind of a mistake. Effectively, a boy had disappeared, and the detective investigating had found his collection of Dungeons and Dragons books. Yeah, but also he really had gotten deep into kind of the wrong crowd. I forget the exact uh, series of events, but it effectively was unrelated, but because he he didn't understand and the media didn't understand what D&D was. They thought it, it pushed him down the wrong path. Kind of. I, I think it might have also had something to do with the guy's parents, who I think were just straight up vile. Mm-hmm. Uh, I truly don't know though anyway top one maybe they think we're doing devil stuff uh, I've explained to my mom a dozen times that this is a tactical storytelling board game not devil stuff that's Sunday funnies club over there they the devil stuff too <laughs> yeah I guess if everyone is here it's probably not about us specifically Oh, there's the guy with the the beard. Uh, greetings, club-minded students. So glad to see you all upholding Wintermore's beloved tradition of student clubs and organizations. Why, they say John Gentleroy Wintermore himself was a member of the Gentleman's Endangered, Bur Endangered Bird Shooting Association. What? A good old Jebsa. Wait a minute, let's stop a moment. The Gosh. Endangered Bird Shooting Association. They're killing endangered birds? Yep, and then trying to get away with it. How vile. Also, is he wearing bell bottoms and he has a little piece yeah. button on his vest? He does. Well then. Yep. Is this going somewhere? As a strong supporter of clubs and student activities on campus, I am pleased to announce a rare opportunity to prove your club's pride and individuality. All of you will have the pleasure of competing in a mandatory school-wide bloodbath, where the winner is named the Ultimate Club. So it's a snowball thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just on the, <laughs> the duel to the death. Oh, that sounds like a waste of time. Good news is, it shouldn't be too tough for us to lose as fast as humanly possible. I know what you're thinking. Why should I care about being in the being in the ultimate club? Well, how about this? Clubs who lose the tournament or who refuse to participate will be disbanded immediately. What? 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 Disbanded? You can't do this, old man. We have rights. Unjust! Such a punishment is unthinkable! Surely you can't really mean disbanded. We'll just lose our club rooms, or... Nope, disbanded. Kaput. As in, no more special club privileges, no more meeting with other club members, and no more practicing your hobbies with other students. But hey, there's no time to keep grumbling. The tournament will begin this afternoon. You will be assigned your first opponents shortly. Trust me, this tournament will be fun. It's the perfect activity to find the ultimate club. So wait. And paint the courtyard red. I put rocks in all the snowballs. <laughs> is the rest of this game going to be us tactic, like using our tactics thing from the D and D thing, or the catacombs to fight class Hell and snowball I know, matches? But this is the stakes have been wronged. Uh, okay. This is crazy. He can't do this, can he? Ashes, I'm telling you. Only a matter of time before this school got militarized. How are we supposed to compete in a snowball tournament? This is a disaster. We're going to lose the club. Calm down. Let's head back to the club, club room and regroup. Play a little Curses and Catacombs. Get our heads back on right. We waited long enough to get back to our adventure today. 